Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am showing you my downstairs loo in a new build renovation. It's just like a little DIY lockdown project that I have been up to during the three months that we've been in lockdown. Um, I'm just starting the video like this because quite frankly, it kind of jumped straight in and I haven't really explained anything. So this is my downstairs toilet. It's a very small room and it's a completely like budget friendly makeover. So if it's something that you guys would be interested in, just carry on watching little downstairs loo wow <laughs> um so yeah so it's currently obviously just very neutral gray white new build and all that um but the ceiling comes up as it's under our stairs so you get this like slope part here and it's a really tall ceiling with an awful light so we're going to try and change that at some point um but we currently have this paint sample oh hi <laughs> this paint sample on the wall which what's it called Dan? I think it's Emerald Emerald Glade, Emerald Glade from is it um, Dulux? Um, Emerald Glade yeah Dulux easy care like a washable one washable ones easy care Emerald Glade I originally wanted something a bit darker but actually because this room's quite small I think the slightly lighter colour will be better um, and it's a gorgeous tone and then we're aiming to keep this part plain for now because we think we might add some funky kind of wallpaper to that so we're just gonna aim to paint the rest so yeah little pano of before also as you can see all of our accessories are like matte black so that's why we thought we'd go with the light big color let's do this Dan has finished putting all the masking tape all the way around. So I think I'm going to paint this rather than wallpaper it and just stick to having, we don't know if we're doing wallpaper or wall stickers, but stick to that part there. Jasper's asleep, so let's get into it. This is where we finished yesterday. Managed to get this whole wall done here. Um, and obviously this wall here, down there, and then up on the top here. And obviously the starting wall there. So today's focus is this main wall here. And then a second coat on the rest. Um, and then this is where I am definitely going to wallpaper, so let's get cracking. Bathroom has been painted 
course more repeating frogs, a lot of paint spots on the ceiling. Got a bit on the ceiling. Got a few bits of tidying up. Still. Right there, so we've got some tidying up bits to do, but all the paint is done, so we're just about to peel the tape off. Oh, you piney arse. What? Bit stuck on the ceiling. Oh no. Get off to get a chair. So then we can just do around the edges where it needs a little bit of tidying and then when I get some money I'm going to order the wallpaper for here but for now we're just going to live with it the way it is and get all our bits and bobs put back on. How's it looking? Oh looking fresh! Nice and neat! bathroom search this is going up on the wall today and I've just bought these two if you hold them out a bit down okay it's a white wall so you can actually see them I just bought these two shelves they were literally five pound from B&M for the two so I want to pop them on this wall for decoratives so Dan's gonna do that now and then we're just waiting on a mirror to go here which is on order it should be here any day really and then this sign is going up here. Um, and then that's the bathroom done, finally. It's been like a six, seven, eight week so mission because things have just taken longer than we thought, so. Yes. But now for the shelves. Yeah, I think that position is. What are you doing, Smith? Fine. We put one in and then we can measure out where we want the other one. Yeah. Awesome. Fabulous. What are you going to do with that, Jess? <laughs> Can you see all the colours? Green? That's a green one. Yellow? Pink? Yeah. Green? Pink? Green? Black? Black? Pink? Black? Yellow! <laughs> Crazy cat. Oh. Yeah. No, that's toilet brush. We don't play with that one.
bit by bit. So as you can see, the colour I have going on on the door, the walls and the radiator is called Emerald Glade by Dulux. It's coming off a bit bluer on camera. But it's like a really lovely emerald green. Um, originally I wanted to go for a slightly darker green, but now I've gone for this one. I am so much happier that we have. Um, then if we pan around this way where the toilet is, so this is my Terezo, Terezo, Terezo style sticker. So I was looking at wallpapers, but it was so expensive. It's so, it's like really on trend at the moment. And it was like really expensive for a little room. So I did some research and I found my son and I found these on eBay. Again, everything will be linked in the description bar below. So anything you want to go check out, that's where it'll be. Um, so they came as packs. So I ordered yellow, black, forest green and pink. Um, and they come obviously in an array of sizes and shapes. They were really reasonable. I think for all of them, it was like 25 quid, but they also have like a massive array of colors. So whatever you guys are into, and they're just adhesive uh, vinyl stickers. So I literally just peeled them off and stuck them on and they come off really easy, but they also should last about four or five years, I think, which is great. So I just, I went to, um, you guys might've seen a clip or I'll enter a clip now of me applying these. But yeah, to be fair, I started off being really delicate and then I just went for it green, green, black. Yeah, black. Um, and then I just went for it. It's kind of a thing where anything goes. So it goes, it runs all the way behind the toilet. <laughs> up onto, because this is under our stairs. So up onto the stairs. And then if I turn around slightly, but it's also on the... There. And then if we turn it around this way, I've got these two box shelves from B&M Bargains. Um, they were literally a fiver, which I think is amazing. So they're perfect size. This one's slightly bigger than this one. So I just have a reed diffuser on there that a friend bought me. And then on this one, I've just got this gorgeous little print called Cultivate Kindness by, um, these were kindly gifted to me from type by Alice, which you will find her on Instagram and Etsy, really beautiful. And then this little trinket, which is like a tea light holder was from home base um, for like two pound. And I just thought the little details on it matched quite well with the details on the wall. Then we go around and as you can see, I've got matte black furnishings. So I've got a matte black toilet holder, toilet roll holder, matte black frame, matte black soap dispenser, matte black mirror and a matte black um towel hand towel holder and a matte black bin can i say matte black anymore so this one here the the dispenser and i actually know all of it apart from the frame was from Danelm. really reasonable i can't exactly remember the price now but i think probably for the toilet roll holder, the soap dispenser, and the hand rail was about seven pounds altogether, maybe about tenner. The bin was probably about five to ten pounds, and the mirror was twenty pounds from Danelm. It's a really nice size. Again, like I said, matte black, really beautiful, fits on this wall perfectly. It makes this bathroom feel so much bigger, which I'm obsessed with. Then the frame was from Decenio, um, and the print is from Etsy. So again, I will leave all that link below, but says wash your hands you dirty pig which is from sex education of course then moving back round, we have the hand towel so this towel oh i just think it's beautiful it's kind of where i based the colors on the wall from uh, they're slightly off but i love a bit of a clash so it doesn't bother me very much at all <laughs> so i've gone for yellows pinks blacks and blues in here and this towel was from george which is asda so it was really reasonable it's about six pounds and i'm just obsessed absolutely obsessed so that is everything in this bathroom obviously i've got my toilet brush down there i just need to get a basket down here to keep my toilet rolls in and i think i'm going to be painting this ledge here down to the skirting board just so it runs around evenly. But apart from that, we are all done.